Good morning, Lord. Thank you for gathering together as family and friends. We ask your blessing as we worship this morning. We thank you for the wonderful gift of Bambi Lake and that everyone here is safe. We pray for those who might be traveling today. And Lord, we ask your blessing on those at home who are worshiping as we celebrate this Memorial Day weekend. We thank uh, you for those who gave their life to give us this freedom. We say thanks now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. All the tables uh, should have a song packet. And we're going to go to the second song called I'll Fly Away. Yep, they're not numbered. Just go to the second page. Yep, I'll Fly Away. <laughs> So just get me out of here in the morning. All right, we're going to go go a couple more pages to the solid rock. It's like three pages ahead. The solid rock. You paid, yeah, I think it's three or four pages ahead. It's called the solid rock. <laughs>
every blessing. Something about just the wind just feels great this morning to be outside. We're so blessed to be here this morning.
Welcome, everybody. So glad that uh, we can be here together to worship the Lord and praise the Lord for uh, awesome weather that he's given us today and this weekend. From the Old Testament, the wisest man who ever lived wrote some great words of encouragement. He said, under heaven, there's a season for every activity. And I'm paraphrasing. There's a time for everything, and then it goes on to talk about and list a whole bunch of things. There's a time to be born and a time to die. And so what happens between those two events in our life is important, not just for our time here on earth, but for eternity. And so we want to think today of the blessing that God gives to all of us, opportunity, enjoy the gifts that he gives us, and we want to, by faith, celebrate <clears throat> what God has done, what God is doing, and what God is going to do in the future. And so, how awesome it is that we can set aside this weekend <clears throat> to celebrate those who have given their life so that we can enjoy a wonderful place like Bambi Lake and Freedom. And so let's take and think for a moment <clears throat> in your own life, all the things that God has done in your life, the people who prayed for you, the people who have invested in your life, the things that God has used to shape you to the person that you are today. And so it's appropriate at different times in our life to stop and give thanks and celebrate what God has done. Now, if I ask you what you had for breakfast yesterday, you probably couldn't remember unless it was an outstanding biscuits and gravy breakfast, <laughs> whatever. But God, one of the greatest gifts that God gives to all of us is memories. I can remember some things that happened 50 years ago. And so I'm grateful, I'm thankful for what God has done, the people who prayed for me, the people who have invested in me, and the things that I can enjoy. I go to uh, places that I didn't have to build because someone else God used to build those places. We all enjoy things that we didn't build, we didn't invest in, but others who've gone before us has paid the price to provide those things for us like Bambi Lake. And so what a blessing. Amen. But secondly, we want to not just give thanks for what God has done, but we don't want to miss out what God is doing today. I mean, he's still at work. There's some awesome things to do. Now, between the time that we're born the time we die, you know, God is still at work, not just in the past, but today. And so we're blessed because we know people who served in the military. And this weekend, we're celebrating Memorial Day and what God has done for those who serve in the military. Amen. Amen. Now, we're privileged that this weekend, a vast variety of exciting things God is doing. For example, we know somebody this weekend who got engaged to be married. <laughs> Some would say, why did it take so long? <laughs> Others would say, it's about time. <laughs> and so it's important. Now, we're privileged this weekend, and today, in fact, somebody we know turned 40 years old. Ooh. 
exciting that there are times in our life and we don't want to miss these important events we celebrate birthdays anniversaries uh, engagements all these wonderful milestones in our life in a couple weeks many of our friends that uh, have children are going to be graduating and we need to celebrate uh, what God is going to do in their life what he's already doing we've had the privilege to encourage pray for and help these reach this milestone in our life and there's lots of other things and so don't be stuck in the past it's appropriate to give thanks but don't miss out of what god is doing today right now in the life of family and friends amen, amen. but here's the hardest part but the best part is we can celebrate the past enjoy seeing what god is doing and enjoy the moment but we look forward by faith because in Christ we have a hope that God now, today might be a rough day for many and this weekend as they celebrate a loved one who's made the sacrifice. And they'll go to a cemetery and they'll pray, maybe they'll grieve, they'll cry. And uh, we need to pray for those families. But if today's a rough day, we can count on in Christ that tomorrow could be a better day. That's the hope we have in Christ. And so by faith, we look forward to some great things. One person said it this way, the best is yet to come. Amen. Now, whatever that will translate into your life, it might be a better job, a better place to live, a place where you can serve. Maybe something you're looking forward to when uh, different places open up around the world and you can go and serve on mission. You know, what is it? And we begin by faith thinking. Now, a very challenging but dangerous prayer to pray is to find yourself today thankful for what God has done, thankful for what he's doing, but are you bold enough to pray, Lord, show me what's next and when God shows you what's next will you be obedient to do what he's calling you to do now you may not like it <laughs> but by faith if you're obedient then we enjoy God's blessing we enjoy him working in and through us and the people that he brings into our life of service will be blessed as well. And so obedience is the thing of how we measure our maturity growing up in Christ. And so for, by faith, look forward to uh, what's God going to do this year? You know, we look back, 2020 was a rough year. But praise the Lord, he brought us through He's doing some exciting things, even this weekend, as we've already mentioned. But what great things does God want to do in the near future? Would you be so bold to pray with me, Lord? Show us what's next for our life, for our family, and for our churches. How exciting it'd be when God reveals that, and then we say, okay, I'll do it. God, what you ask me to do, I'll do it. Where you send me, I'll go. And what a blessing we'll enjoy. You see, oftentimes, it's not until we get down the road of life, we look back and we say, thank you, God, for what you've done. We enjoy what he's doing today, preparing, equipping us for what he wants to do. But how awesome it will be when we begin to see God working and what he wants to do. So, how awesome it is. God has gathered us here this morning. What if, many years ago, as God wanted to prepare Bambi Lake, just so that we could enjoy this weekend, 
But the people of that day said, oh, it, it costs too much money. It'd be too hard. We can't do that. There's no way because the circumstance <clears throat> when they looked at getting Bambi Lake uh, was nearly impossible. Praise God for those who had the vision, the commitment, and the obedience to do what God led them to do because here we are more than 50 years later enjoying an awesome place. Amen. So, what about 50 years from now? Now, I look around, and there'll just be a few of us here. <laughs> most likely. Most likely. <laughs> most likely. <laughs> and, Lord willing, if you gather here, and you're one of the ones that God still has here 50 years from now, you can look back and thank the Lord for our gathering here today. Amen. Amen. And you can celebrate what God is doing in your life and what he's done. And then you can push forward to the future as well. But for today, thank God for what he's done. We're grateful for those who have served our country and are serving our country. And we're blessed in our church. We have two young people who are going to become part of the military service this summer. And uh, so we're grateful for the next generation. I'm excited for all the things God is doing this weekend. But most of all, I'm grateful for what the future holds. I know we all know people who have a lot of anxiety about the future. Not sure about what's going to take place and the, the job situation, whatever. Uh, one of the discouraging things for me is uh, some of my favorite places like the donut shop. You know, we finally got a Krispy Kreme in our area. And I've been able to go and enjoy Krispy Kreme until last week I went and it was about nine o'clock in the morning and I'm thinking, oh, how awesome it would be, a cream filled Krispy Kreme donut with my coffee. And I pull up and they're closed. Uh, and I'm going, what? And a little sign on the door said, we've had to change our hours because no one can work. And so they're not going to open until 11 in the morning and stay open until 10 at night. Oh. And I'm thinking, who wants a donut at 10 o'clock at night? Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But I do enjoy a donut at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and, and so uh, that's one thing I'm looking forward to is we pray and encourage people. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Make them donuts. <laughs> Among other things. And so we're grateful this morning to say thanks. And so uh, let, let's close this time with a prayer of commitment. What is it? that the Lord has done in your life. It's a prayer of thanksgiving. Thank God for all that he's done. What's he doing today? We're grateful that God's still at work in our life. The great of all, would you join me and be bold enough to say, okay, Lord, show me what's next for my life, your family, and for your church and Bambi Lake. Let's pray. Lord, we, we love you and thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, thank you for all the wonderful things you have accomplished in all our lives. Lord, I thank you for the great things we celebrate today. This Memorial Day weekend, for those who protect and serve us. Lord, for those who have had special events this weekend in their own life. And Lord, most of all, we ask that you would show us what's next for our life and then give us the courage and our commitment today that we would be obedient to do it. We say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all. So glad. I'm wondering, can we get the praise team, that wonderful, awesome praise team, to come back one more time, and especially the drummer. <laughs> How about shelter or something? <laughs>
right, we're going to do Be Thou My Vision. So on your pack, if you start at the back, we'll go back a few pages, so it'll be in there. Uh, or front, go forward, it's probably... And they call you trash can. All right, what's going to be the song? Be Thou My Vision. It's like eight pages in from the back. Or you go forward, it's probably eight pages from the forward. <laughs> Be thou my vision. Thank you, everyone, for gathering here this morning. I'm Pastor Herb, and thank you for those who will be watching uh, in the future. We're signing off, coming from Bambi Lake in Roscommon, Michigan. God bless. <laughs>